Well hello viewers, this is Carbengo and welcome again for a new episode of Let's Play Warship Gunner 2. Today's mission is Bloody Tyrrhenian Sea. Bloody? What's so bloody in Northern Italy? In the last episode, we forced our way through Gibraltar and we joined with the Southern French fleet based at Toulon. The next step of our plan is to recapture Northern Italy. The region is still unstable and the local population should easily set our course once we chase the occupation forces from their cities. Evidently, this mission is of great importance since we'll incorporate the newly freed country's resources. Most crucially, its food supplies of pasta and pizza. After all, Emperor Napoleon once said, an army marches on its stomach. And that's the truth. Before we capture the cities, we need to soften the enemy enough for our ground forces to come into action. Our ship's main objective is to destroy the gun emplacements and radar in the region. However, we must avoid collateral damage to civilian structures at all costs. Of course, we can expect Empire ships defending the region as well. Furthermore, the game doesn't tell in the briefing, but I must warn you. We are going to encounter submarines as well, so don't forget to have at least one ASW weapon on board your ship. For this mission, I highly recommend you equip your ship with a firing delay system. You will need the accuracy bonus. If your shots stray too far, you risk to destroy a forbidden target and cause instant mission failure. The best vessel for this mission is a polyvalent ship capable to handle a wide range of targets. That's why this time again I'll go with the Slepnir. There is more to my choice, but I'll explain it all once we enter battle. So here we are. The first thing you should know is there is a time limit. We have 900 seconds, that's 15 minutes, to complete the main objective. See, that's one of the cities we are forbidden to attack. At any point, if more than 50% of civilian structures are destroyed, then the mission fails instantly. Choose your target carefully and fire your most accurate weapon. You don't want to use high explosives here or you might cause unwanted collateral damage. Also, stray shots from your entire weapons could hit the city as well, so don't get too close either, nor should you activate engagement mode. Besides the main objective, we have three more secondaries. There is a couple of air bases to demolish, as well as submarines to sink, and a fourth one which I'll come back on later. Over the water, we meet squadrons of enemy ships of all sorts. Corvettes, submarines, destroyers, cruisers and battleships. Use your main guns to take down the corvettes and torpedoes for everything else. Although I don't want to engage this enemy squadron just yet. And now I'm heading toward Corsica. I want to demolish the facilities on the island first. Rest assured, there is no civilian structure on the island, but still, stay focused on your targets, there is no point in destroying absolutely everything, it's a waste of time more than anything else. Ok, I'm done with the island, next I want to go north and deal with the submarines. We are now in the middle of the wolf park, let's throw some grenades about. All the while, I'm under attack from landborne aircraft. I find the fighter most annoying, they are strafing my deck with machine guns and despite doing very few damage, they keep buffeting the camera in all directions. So much so, it kinda makes me dizzy. That fills up our quota of submarine destroyed. Not that I won't sink them all anyway. So that makes two objectives accomplished. Let's take care of the remaining submarines. You know, I do test runs for each and every mission, and this time I wanted to try another anti-submarine weapon, namely the guided ASW torpedoes. 
de Serpido, Scan Lock on Underwater Targets from a very long range and are powerful enough to sink any sub in a single hit. However, like all torpedoes, you are limited to launch from the broadside, which I find kinda awkward to use, especially for a guided weapon. So, I stuck with the good old Death Charge launcher. Besides, you can blow a whole pack of cells with a single torpedo, can you? Right, uh, reinforcements. A squadron of battleships appeared in the south. And our first objective is to sink six of them. We're gonna get to it soon, but before that, let's destroy the last land targets. I have 540 seconds left at the counter, which is plenty, thanks to our fast vessel. I made it look easy, but I am positive that I used a slower, not as well armed vessel, I could have ended the mission with much, much less time to spare, if not at all. And that's all for the show batteries. Mission accomplished. We're still far from being done, even though the time limit disappeared. There remains plenty of enemies to sink. How about this destroyer squadron over there? Hmm, watch me right now, I am unloading with my torpedoes not caring about ammunition. Unfortunately, it will come back to bite me when I engage the battleships. So, don't be a fool like me and try to conserve on your ammo, would you? It saves you troubles, believe me. There is another enemy squadron close by, this one is entirely made up of corvettes. My gun will rid me of these in no time. Hmm, okay, skirts are good. Alright, finally we are ready to take on the battleships. But beware, it won't be as easy as it sounds. They are very capable to sink your ship in no time if you're not careful. As we head toward the BB squadron, they are shelling our ship at a distance, and the closer we get, the more accurate they are. So, make sure to take evasive action, with left and right, to dodge as much as you can. When close enough, release your torpedoes. Wow, did you see that? Only a couple of hits was enough to hurt me pretty bad, I must repair quick. Okay, I'm back online, but I'm about to run out of torpedoes. This is not good. Uh, thankfully, I still have my guns. Sadly, I can only hope to pack my opponents to death with my puny 25cm batteries. Ah, no, I wish I was at the control of my Mjolnir. Oh, no, I ran dry on torpedoes. How oh, terrific. Thankfully the game isn't that mean to you, when you run out of ammunition, your chances to see ammo crates increase. How fortunate for us. Oh, so close, I'm repairing again. Please don't hurt me now. Back from the fringe. I really need to increase my armor. But then again, I don't want to lose my speed. Oh, I really need to figure something for this ship. Alright, that was a terrible performance on my part, I'm sorry. There is one last thing I want to do before withdrawing, so let's go south, shall we? We are now at the southern tip of Corsica, there is a secret land base over here. Let's destroy the building and send out the cargo chopper. Go fetch little fella. Good boy, we can now withdraw from the sector. Now, let's leave the area. Ah, that was a busy mission. Our vessel almost went to the bottom against the battleships, but we prevailed in the end. Time to check the results screen. S rank. 
like. I'm lucky to avoid any malice after I ruined my cruiser like that. We got more mine, 30 cm rockets, decoy launcher, 20 cm rockets, new anti-sub rockets, 16 cm rockets, 45 rockets, 20 cm MLRS, and an entire missile in the treasure chest. And for 500 aircraft destroyed, we get the plan for the 57mm high velocity gun. That's very good. Our forces have taken over northern Italy. Hooray! Let us all celebrate with a pizza pie. A super weapon facility at the base of Mount Vesuvius? What for? Geothermal energy? You know, Doc, I love your theory, but I am not sure you can generate the 2.21 gigawatt necessary to power a super weapon engine with a geyser. I don't quite get how a boat is supposed to capture a land facility, sir. So, this is the end of the episode. I sure hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please don't miss the next episode of Let's Play Warship Gunner 2. I am Carbengo, thanks for watching.